Great here. So today I was kind of poking around my Steam uh, 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 queue, you know, for, for new games that they or recommendations. And this title came up, One More Dungeon. <laughs> Not only did it show up in the queue, but it also was on sale for $2.50. Yes. Um, I took a quick poke at it, you know, you know, looking around, seeing what it was about. Basically, it's uh, a first-person roguelike in with with graphics and I wouldn't say gameplay, but movement reminiscent of Wolfenstein 3D, which is not the earliest game I played, but one of the one of the really earliest 3D games that I ever played it was Wolfenstein 3D. Um, at two dollars fifty cents, how, how can you not at least give it a try, right? So I've played one game uh, just to you know just to get a feel for it, and I figured I would play the second game here and record it. You know what the heck? It, it, it looks kind of cute. So um, settings, real basic. I mean, look at the graphics. It's here it is. So let's give this a try. Uh, like I said, uh, apparently when you uh, I, I played it once, so I got to score fifteen hundred, and apparently this lets you modify the game in some way. Here's all the, the different ways you can modify it. Um, but since I, I, I only played once and I, I want to show what the game looks like or, or what it feels like without uh, you know, it, it, in its base form, we're not going to do any mutators. So here it is. Uh, WASD moves around. Uh, my mouse rotates. I cannot look up and down at all. You'll also note that all of the enemies are sprites, and as such, whenever you move around, it, it looks like they're always constantly looking at you, and that that is exactly how Wolfenstein and Doom uh, uh, and uh, Duke 3D was. So we have two weapons. We have a staff, which uh, you'll have to wait to see because. Um, if you'll note in the upper right corner, there's three gem icons: red, blue, and green. The uh, since I have a staff of uh, ice, you see how it, 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 it says it does two points of ice damage, and it costs two um, blue shards to actually use. So, I uh, it's limited. Your your ranged weapons are a limited resource. And so I'm just going to kill everything here with my melee weapon. And the melee weapon has a very short range, like one, one of these tiles. Ooh, nice. Altar of health right off the bat. I'll take it. Okay. So here are barrels that can blow up. Um, obviously you'd want to hit them at range. And then in this other room are eye eyeballs, which... I don't know if these do any damage. I can kill them. If I know that much. Okay. So my first playthrough, I actually ran into one of these. It's a portal that actually takes you to... Oh, oh this... Hold on. <laughs> Die. Die. Die faster. Okay. I was not expecting that. It, it, it takes you to... I, I guess an, a, a, another sub-level where there are traps. The first one I went, went to had traps. What's this? Pick up Emerald Eye. Okay. I don't know what that does. So let's go back out. Um, that, that would be an artifact, and I guess every time you see a portal, you can get an artifact? Maybe? I, I don't know. Uh, like I said, this is my second playthrough, so... Okay, let's go to the outside. Oh, tab brings up the uh, the menu, or not menu, the map. And there's nothing in here. So. Mm. Go. I don't want the, the rats jump at you, and with my health, I don't I don't want them to jump. Uh, this is a coin. Don't know what it's used for, but and I 
I, I don't know what this is used for. Um, it, it looks like maybe you, you put uh, gems in here for something. You can't you can't step on it, but I I don't know how to use it. Um, so, oh oh I didn't know I could mouse over my my artifact to, to see what it does. Okay. Show stash location through obstacles. Okay. go this way. Okay, nothing in there. Well, I can't, I don't seem to be able to do anything with that. Okay. I don't like being on such low health. Ooh, I think I can break these. Yes, I can. Please have health. Oh, gems. Which I, I, I'm not turning my nose up against gems, mainly because, well, look at my health. Come on. Ah, regen potion. So, since mouse overs work, oh, antidote removes poison effect. That doesn't help us. Let's move that out of the way. red gems. Um, actually, let's go back to this door over here. Oh. Come on. There we go. Okay. See how short range that melee weapon is? Gems is always good. I don't... I don't think these do anything. Okay. No idea. I tried the artifact there. It, it drained the golden hearts at one a second, but I don't know what else it does. And I don't want to waste that resource, whatever it is. Oh, okay. Heal time. Okay, so the red potions only give me five health. Oh, that's what I was looking for. This is a, a regeneration potion. Uh, let's see what, what that does. Oh, which gives six over time. Got it. Okay. Other antidote? I don't think I can break any of these. Maybe I can? I, I'm not sure. Oh! You rat! Die, die. Okay. Yep. There we go. So when I get down to four health, I'll, I'll pop that, uh, that regeneration potion, I guess. Let's get these into my inventory. Uh, pick that back up, please. Thank you. And we'll drop that in the inventory. There we go. So there's that regen back up to, to a full 10 health. Oh, the big bad guy who does something. There we go. Okay, he gives us an iron spear and a seal. Open, oh, so you have to beat him to get to the next level. And a spear does 2 to 3 damage. Well, the dagger only does 1 to 1, so I definitely want to swip, swap over. I wonder, oh, 
Okay, so it's slower, but I bet you it has a better reach. I'll have to give that a try on this guy. Oh yeah, much better. I'll take it. It's filling the inside here. Nothing there. Another coin. Okay. anything with this? No. Okay. Ooh. Oh, the spear makes it much easier to melee. Okay. Okay, there's a bat trapped back there. Let's get rid of this guy. This is the end of the level that we needed the seal for, but I'm, I, I'm not ready to, to leave the level yet. I want to clear out everything I have on here. Okay. Oh. Let me through. There we go. Nice. Another regen potion. Nothing in there. And we have a door up this way. <laughs> Five points to kill a, a trapped bat. I'll take it. From there. Ooh, nice. Four coins. And I think any doors would show up as green on here, so I think that's the end of the level, unless, uh, well, they were taking inspiration from uh, the Binding of Isaac, and like this right in here, I wish I could use my mouse pointer, but the, where I'm pointing right there would be like a, a, a secret, secret room, but I have no idea how I would confirm that. Oh, looks like there is something in there. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's let's go down to this corridor. Can I move these? This corridor. Is this where? Is this where? No. Hmm. Well, I don't want to backtrack all the way to the other side, so I'm just going to let that be since I don't know how to get into it right now. So here we are at the second level, where things get a little more complex. Like, these guys throw rocks. And that guy throws fireballs. That's not good. Definitely get rid of the fireball guy first. There we go. Okay, so I've already got the... Yeah, the seal to the next level. And now I've got a fire staff. So what I can do, let's move this over to slot one. I can now swap between the two different uh, staves that I have. Uh, so since I have more fire than, um, or red gems than blue gems, now I'll switch over to this one since I, I basically have more ammo on this one. Let's see, the silver key is used to open chests. Keep exploring this way. 
Oh, nice, it curved around him. Take more red gems. Okay. Oh, just to show you the barrels. Same. And I, I, I guess if you blow them up near enemies, then uh, the enemies will ah, take damage. I want to go this way to get get some uh, maneuvering room. I would also presume that at some point different enemies have different uh, weaknesses. Okay, that doesn't do anything, it seems. Um, before I go opening doors, let's just explore the entire area here. See if I can activate this guy. Oh, and there's a, another rock thrower back there. Okay. Oh! Stupid rat. Okay. Healing potion gives us five health? Yes. So let's pop that in place. Let's put the regen. I wonder if I need the seal on my hot bar to use it. I don't think I do. I don't think these chests can be killed. Oh, and notice that, that not everything rotates with you like a sprite. Like these chests are actually true 3D, which I, is an interesting uh, decision. Okay, so that increases my my ability to use my uh, artifact. Okay, so let's go back to this, uh, this door over here. Let's see where this goes. Absolutely nowhere. Good. That's good to know. Oh. Um. Yeah, let's go to this door first. Oh. I hate you, rat. Okay, let's take our health. Regen in place. Ah, good, another health potion. Never seen the, the, the skeleton before. Okay, so the, the silver keys that I have, these right here, go to these chests which give you different items. Twin staff. What does a twin staff do? So, three gems for two fire damage. That seems worse than what I've got. Looks cuter. Does it fire two shots, hence twin stuff? Ooh, okay. Worth. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, where am I? This door first. Leads to absolutely nothing. What's this? Looks like an ammo rack. I presume that 
it, that has a random chance to drop a, a ow a weapon like that has a random chance to drop a rat. Stupid rat. Okay. Okay, I got everything here. Gems, yes. Whoa. More gems. Another regen. I'll take it. Okay. Okay, hold on. That's right here. Yeah. Is there a way over here, maybe? Oh, nice. Secret door. Okay. So that's how secret doors work. Okay, so let's make sure that these... 2 to 3, 2 to 3. Okay. So now we just need to head back around up north. I bet you that door to the to the north is just like a, a little one square. I wonder. No, I don't see anything in there. Okay. I wonder if later level the later levels those uh, those spikes pop out somehow. They, they look like they would be linked up to a uh, a trap somehow. Oh! <laughs> One hit, he's dead. Okay, I can see how this the staff would be nice. So there's our exit. for the outer door first. Okay, nothing there. Ow. Ow. I'm not going to die to a bat. Come on. Yeah, I was worried about this guy right here. Oh, I got hit by, the, by his rock. Iron sword is 2 to 2. I don't know. Let's pick that back up. But gee, it's, it's faster, but it's, yeah, shorter range. I like this, the spear better. So let's stick with the spear. seeing uh, anything else, so let's head down to the next level. Huh, we didn't find a portal that time. Okay. Set, wigging me out. Oh, we can buy, uh, okay. So it looks like there's a bunch of different staffs that we can buy here. Who are you? Are you like a shopkeeper? Can I kill you? I'm guessing no. Okay. Can't 
kill the bat. Oh, oh, what the? You can die now. Okay, spiders stat? Ice, fire, acid sparks. Very good at that. I wish we could sell our stuff to this guy. That would be cool. I've only got six coins, so I can only get one of these. Let's try the spider staff and see what that's like. Uh, okay, first off, what does it do? It takes a little bit of everything, but does five... Five, okay. So it's... That would, that's going to be my, my go-to for killing big creatures staff. I don't like you. Ow. Okay. Alright. Oh, I can't kill those. Okay. Oh, why not? I know I haven't completely looked at that last room yet, but... We're here. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be anything there. Oh, we're at half health, so let's drink that potion. I think that might be the the torch that I'm hearing. No, it's another one of those. I bet you this hurts me. Yep, it does. I wonder, since I can drop stuff like this... That's what this is for. This is how I get... So... No, I don't want to drop a silver key. Iron dagger. Ten green gems. Okay. Fire staff. Since I have this staff, I don't mind. Ten blue gems. Uh, let's get rid of all but... Yeah, all but two antidotes. I don't need all that. Okay, that that's kind of cool. That mechanic is nice. He's running for me. What's this? Altar of Resurrection. Do I get to... Okay, he's... <laughs> crawling zombie. Nice. There we go. Whoa! Stupid spider. Might have been a good time to. Whoa, no. You can just die. Wow, it takes him a bit, doesn't it? I wonder what happens if I catch this bug. Oh. Does it track? No, it doesn't track. Okay, so... Oh, it does! So I can, I can shoot around corners? Oh, I died and then the resurrection got... Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, that was good news. Um, let's see, where were we? We were over this way. 
That's what I get for not paying attention. Avoid all that muckety muck. You nope, 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 nope. Okay, so. Oh, it did. Oh, oh, it did kill it. Okay, so go back to that stuff. This is Snake Catcher Amulet. Poison Immunity. No. Does it go here? No. Here? Oh, okay. So no, I guess I'm immune to poison. Yep, that's the door I wanted. This seems like there might be a... I know there's something that way. But I've been in that room already. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that. Let's, no? Okay. So let's go down to this door. Oh. Have I found the exit? I don't think I have. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> well, there's the first run of one more dungeon, and this is where the name really kicks in because I so want to restart or hit main menu and, and put a, uh, a mutator on and, and do another run. It's, it's actually kind of fun in, uh, in, in little doses like that. Anyway, that's the look at one more dungeon. Hope you enjoyed it. Have fun.